You want to take a walk to Chinatown? Chinatown? No, I decidedly do not. Why not? Because it's 1.30 in the morning, because it's February, because it's freezing outside, because I don't like Chinatown, because we don't have any money. It's brisk. It's a nice walk. Come on, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get some coffee with milk. Well, we got enough money for that. You don't need coffee, Chinese or otherwise. Give me right, that no, cup. No. Look at yourself. The worst coffee You're ever. You're shaking, trembling. You don't need, you, you need to be clubbed, not prodded. Chinese coffee puts me at peace. Oh, please. I had a cup of java there once, did anything but put me at peace. My stomach did flip-flops for days. You had to be in a border area. What street were you on? Street? What? Who knows? Chinatown acid. Ah, uh, you must have been in the border area. I wasn't reading maps. All I know is I could have opened a drain with the stuff. That's the point. If the coffee had acid, you couldn't have been in Chinatown. You were obviously in a border area. A couple of Chinese just sitting around the joint. Greeks running it. Oh, you know that for a fact? Yes. How? Because the Chinese worship their stomachs and everything they put in them, so when it comes to coffee, it's the freshest. Oh, I get it. They grind it from the bean. Now, that's pretentious. Only they use the very best bean. And it's brewed, fresh, in silex pots only, glass, never an urn. And do you know the final touch? Soy sauce. <laughs> Real cream. Some places, not many, half and half. That's as far as they'll descend. But most places, cream. Throw the whole quart at you. 